St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from two donors. The first are Mr. and Mrs. Armando and Adelia Guarneri from Oakville, Ontario. They make their offering in thanksgiving for all the blessings they have received and in honor of their 50th wedding anniversary, which they celebrated on July the 26th of this year. The second is an anonymous donor from North Bay, Ontario, in thanksgiving for blessings received. On behalf of everyone across Canada participating in this celebration, our thanks to both of you. We wish Mr. and Mrs. Guarneri a belated happy anniversary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of God, the love of Christ, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we begin our celebration, let us recall that we are in the presence of the risen Christ, and that we do need his continuing mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Father of all that is good, keep us faithful in serving you, for to serve you is lasting joy. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do not deceive yourselves. If you think that you're wise in this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. So let no one boast about human leaders, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world or life or death, or the present or the future. All belong to you, and you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. The word of the Lord.
follow me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of my people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then Jesus sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long but have caught nothing. Yet if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For Peter and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Debedee, who were partners of Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. 